Well, lead has had um, a very long history. It was one of the first metals to be widely used. The, the Romans used this for drinking materials. They also, lead acetate, that's the compound of lead and vinegar, is meant to taste sweet. And the Romans added this to their wine to make it sweeter. The fact that it was really very poisonous and caused, um, <coughs> possibly even caused madness, was um, not really widely recognised. In fact, some people have suggested that part of the collapse of the Roman Empire was due to too much lead. Lead was very widely used in the UK for water pipes because it's easy to manufacture and to join together. It tends not to have been very dangerous in terms of drinking water because it gets a coating on the surface so you do not get much lead in the water. Though if you do have a house with lead pipes in it is usually advisable to change them. It's again, it was used very widely from the 1920s up till the late 70s or 80s as an additive for petrol. In the old days, when petrol engines were first um, introduced, when you came to a hill and put down the accelerator of your car, the engine started misfiring, so-called pinking, and the whole thing shook. So it was really quite difficult to drive up hills. But then it was discovered that you could put in a compound, so-called tetraethyl lead, which was really very poisonous. But the guy who discovered it washed his hands in public at a press conference, saying, look, it's so safe, despite the fact that there were people dying in his um, factory. So it was very widely adopted. And so it was only in quite recent times that it was realized how much lead was being blown out into the atmosphere in car exhausts. And so <coughs> it's now we have almost everywhere we have lead free, lead free petrol as a result of people realizing the poisonous of lead.